Today we're moving on to another episode of our Baby Wildlife Education Mini-Series. Today's feature, baby birds. Many species of birds will actually leave their nest and hop around on the ground for several days before taking flight. Folks will sometimes mistake these fledglings for orphans, but with the information in this video, you can start to decipher which birds need your help and which birds should be left alone. Step two, find out what stage the bird is in. If it's in its fledgling stage, you can leave the bird alone. It will soon fly off and care for itself. If it's in the nestling or hatchling stage, the bird needs to return to its nest. There are three different adolescent stages for birds. The first is hatchling. These birds are mostly bare skin and down feathers. Their eyes are closed and they most likely won't leave their nest. The next is nestling. Nestlings have some bare skin and pin or sheathed feathers. Their eyes are open and they are mobile in the nest. And lastly, fledglings. At this stage, the bird should have most of its feathers with bits of down poking out. Their tails are short and stubby and they're practically the size of their adult counterparts. Some birds will explore the area a bit by hopping around on the ground, leaving the protection of their shady tree. Step three, search the area. Can you find a nest in the branches of a tree? You can also look in tree cavities, along the roof of a house, or in the scaffolding of a building. A lot of nests look like this. Step four, return the baby to its nest. If the nest is within reach and still intact, you can place the baby directly in it with its feet right underneath its body. If the nest is too high in the tree, has been destroyed, or you cannot locate it, you can always build a temporary nest. Step five, prepare the temporary nest. You'll need to gather a few items. You'll need an old carton or other short plastic container. Make sure it has drainage holes, dried and fresh grass, and about three to four feet of twine. The thicker, the better. Step six, construct your nest. Grab your container and start to fill it with dried grass. Push it into a donut formation so the baby can stoop comfortably in the middle. Cut three to four feet of your twine and weave the string through the carton. Leave the baby out of the temporary nest until it's fastened securely to the tree. Step seven, place your temporary nest. You'll want to find a spot nearest where the baby was found. Tie the nest at least four feet above the ground. Then you're ready to place the baby in the nest. Remember, you'll want to tuck its feet directly underneath it. Step eight, wait for the mother to return. Leave the nest alone for a few hours. You can watch from afar, but be sure to keep your distance. If you notice the mother is returning to her nest, then you've reunited the family successfully. If you haven't seen her in a few hours, check on the baby. Are there droppings in the nest? That might mean the baby was fed recently. Wait a few more hours, and if you still haven't seen mom come by, it might be time to call a wildlife rehabilitator. Call Greenland and we can connect you to the one nearest to you.